Today I'm going to introduce you to Compass, our new online developer portal. After logging in with your CloudMine credentials, you'll be taken to the Compass landing page, which contains all of your CloudMine applications. For security purposes, each app is totally self-contained, meaning it has its own data, security, and logic layer. By clicking on the green Create New Application button, you can immediately get started with a new CloudMine application. Within seconds, you'll have a brand new application ready for use, equipped with the full security, scalability, and interoperability features of the CloudMine platform. To get started with an existing application, simply locate it within the All Apps page and click on the icon to begin. This will navigate you to the Application Overview page, which contains some basic information about your app. Most importantly, this page supplies you with your application ID, which identifies your application in API calls to the CloudMine platform. While the application ID identifies your application to CloudMine, API keys serve as a high-level access control tool. Each key has its own permissions, and you can even set up custom rules to control the flow of data within your application. As you can see here, we've created API keys for all public-only and secret-only data within the application. Moving into the object browser, we can see how some of those filters come into play. For instance, when we select the public-only API key from the drop-down menu, we can see the data being displayed filtered to show type equals public only. All objects on CloudMine are stored as JSON blobs in NoSQL databases, giving users full control over the implementation of their apps. CloudMine also offers simple user management tools, which give developers the ability to track sessions as well as further define access controls. Logged in users can create what are called user level objects, which they can then share out to other users within the application. With user level objects, users on CloudMine have full control over the security of their data. In addition to object storage and user management, CloudMine also offers full file hosting capabilities. Some of the most powerful aspects of CloudMine, however, are captured through its developer tools. These tools simplify things like setting up push notifications down to a few basic steps. Similarly, integrating identity providers such as your favorite social network or creating your own custom SAML workflow is as easy as entering in a few simple pieces of information. CloudMine also enables applications to be shared within organizations, which can be set up through the Collaboration tab in Compass. With the release of the new dashboard, users also have access to a few powerful new tools, such as the Query Runner, which allows you to test and experiment with specific endpoints on the CloudMine system to make sure everything's running as expected. Here, we've done a simple GET call on all data within the application. As you can see, there are a number of different ways to customize the query to mimic the environment that you're testing. To give developers a full picture of what's going on within their application, we've also exposed in-depth log files. Within the logs page, you can track every call that's made to your application, along with all of the metadata associated with it. You can also download a more verbose version of the logs, or copy the call directly to curl to investigate further. In addition to all of these features, one of the most powerful tools on CloudMine is CodeRunner. CodeRunner is essentially a platform as a service hosted on top of the CloudMine offering, which allows you to bring all of your own custom business logic and expose it through CloudMine's secure API. With CodeRunner, current CloudMine users are supercharging their apps with integrations to third-party providers such as Epic or Allscripts, custom batch post-processing, or tie-ins to analytics providers. For now, though, we'll keep it simple with Hello World. 